Alright, so detail here is added. Let's move on to something else. Uh, what, what else do we have? Hmm. It's just you know, the repetitive stuff now. We can maybe uh, just use the last of this, uh, you know, this this tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and do this part and the front part. Just give them the repetitive part and then the patches here, and then we can move on to the uh, to those things, right? Those plastic holders for the lace and the hole and things like that. Okay. Uh, we probably wouldn't try that hole, but maybe we can use lab boolean to dig out the hole right away. But yeah, so go here and grab this guy. <laughs> and again, I don't need to see everything here, so uh, to have everything here. So again, I'm gonna use my little old trick to have a polygroup that I want to reserve. And for the rest of this guy, I'm gonna use BZM and use my. Uh, ins inset inset region just to all poly polygroup all right to inset this part double click while holding down control shift delete to kick that out and let's just be really quick and do a UV right here so I'll wrap all right oops an arrow has occurred that's strange we do delete hidden one more time. Hmm. Don't know why there is an arrow. I'm gonna see uh control W to give everything a group. Do an auto group. Control shift and click on it and do delete hidden. No, nothing else. Do one more unwrap. No. How about work on clone? Unwrap, yeah, and uh, whoops. Copy UVs, or here, copy UVs. Go back to the original one. If you don't know which one it is, it's easy. It's just go look for the one with the big number here, right? And that should be have a, having all the sub tools we have. And paste the UV. Uh, let's take a look at the UV. Oh, that's good. And change the material back. And turn on poly pen here. All right. So now we can go really do our detailing. Okay, I'm gonna control D a few times. Right. Lost my poly groove. Darn it, let's go back to before I get rid of the polygroup. I'm gonna paste UV on this guy. Let's take a look. Alright, now I have UVs. Uh, sorry, now I have polygroups and the UV. Control D a few times. Control Shift and click on this guy. Or actually just. W and control click. I always forget this shortcut. <laughs> control click to reverse it. I'm gonna go for control click to just blur this part and control click to invert it so I can inflate out a little cool thickness here. You know what? Let me tighten that up, smooth, and then do that so that I have more edging. And let's see what else do we have here. Now I have this middle part is a different kind of like patch. And more interestingly, maybe we have like, like two layers of different geometries. So I'm gonna choose to do this uh, here on this guy. And we're gonna control shift and click on it and so that I can mask this part. To click to reverse it and then inflate it in to have a little bit more thickness. Right. Let's go to higher subdivision level, subdivision level. I think I'm moving it up to which is now what I want, so I'm 
gonna drag it back down. Again, I'm, I was using Alt click to reset the orientation. Alt click to position, and Alt click that to reset orientation. Okay. Anyway, so go back to higher subdivision level. And I need to smooth this out. And that. So let's see. Uh, I wanted this guy to have two different patches. So this patch is going to be different compared to the green ones. So here I'm going to go again, do my masking and mask by group. And I'm going to demask or unmask the bottom part. Control click to reverse it and then blur it. I'm going to do an inflate to move that in. Just too much. Maybe tighten it up just a little bit, a little bit more and smooth it. All right. Just wanted to have some cool lines across this part. Well, I don't quite like the back part. I don't want the back part to go in. So here I'm gonna control shift and go there, control shift uh, X to grow and mask these guys too. <laughs> Blur it and then inflate inwards. Maybe go forward a little bit. Alright, cool. Again, just wanted to have something cooler over here on this part. All right, and then I'm gonna also use mask to draw a mask here. Maybe give it some cool arc. I'll mask the bottom ones. Control W to give this part a group. Maybe only on this guy. Yeah. So I want this part to populate that noise they have. I'm gonna populate maybe this same noise, maybe just a bunch of holes. So I need again to go ahead and find some image for that. Let me go for seamless because it's a big patch. And maybe we can go for this one. So it looks pretty cool too. Let's see which one works. So let's go ahead and control click to have this one isolated while I'm using move. Right, I can go to surface, noise, the load in the alpha, recenter, zoom in, use UV, and no mix basic noise. Then we can make the alpha bigger, smaller, and strings to be stronger. Wrong direction. All right, and then we can say okay. Now we have this, and let's see. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna mask by noise, so I can manually do it. All right now we have this uh, interesting pattern duplicated around this model. Again, I think if you really want to get super good result, you have to uh, use more subdivision level. So I probably wanted to do that. But another thing you can do is if you just want this part to have high resolution, you can mask others and control D on this part only.
Oh, I have to go to the lower studying level and do that. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna give me that. That's just not really cool. <laughs> yeah, forget about that. I'm gonna control D. Actually, it's subdivided. <laughs> To get higher subdivision level, and then we can mask it. If you blur the mask a little bit, and then we do that. So you can see now we're having a much detailed uh, masking because we have a much detailed model. So if you want to have like more visible detail, you have to, you know, have higher subdivision level, and that's the limitation of ZBrush for now. Uh, because of that limitation, you cannot really have to, you know, risk the detail level you have will be restricted by that. And I don't really want to put it that much. Let me try that just one more time. Okay. And again, a lot of trials and fails. Sometimes, like if you don't like this result or that result, uh, you know, based because of the alpha or anything like that, you do just do have to, or the size even, just have to revisit and redo it. I think I'm happy with it. So moving on to the next. Uh, here I have a patch. I guess what I can do is, oops, lost my group again. That's why it's so important that you. <laughs> you really convert your group into polypen so you can always get it back. Even it auto saves, it destroys it. Really, really annoying feature. Anyway, I'm going to go polypen, polypen from polygroup, just to reserve the groups, right? And then I should be able to do whatever I want later on. Oh, darn it. That little part. Okay, so let's see this part. Right, I'm gonna mask it so I can use BDS stamp standard to cut in the edge, give it some cool transition here. Let's see what's that. And then maybe we can have some stitching around it. Let me just draw out another damn standard line. I'll go for store more target. All right. And then BS, B, uh, S, B, right, stitch brush to have some stitch 
over here. Too big, I'm gonna redo it. Maybe something also around here. Like, gonna keep going from here and do some more stitching. Yeah, I wonder if I'm gonna see it anyways. So I'm not gonna see it. Let's just do all the way to there. Right. Alright, so that's it. Just uh, maybe a little bit more feature on this part. I can give it a different noise. So you will have a leather noise or something. Mm, I don't have a leather noise, so. Seamless and go grab this one, save image. Right center. Make the size a little bigger. Alright, cool. I'm just going to say apply to mesh right away, right, not bad, and then get everything back. Right, just some more feature or detail on those different, all those uh, different parts. So yeah, mm. I guess we're done with the primary patches, right? All the details are there, maybe just more stitching around this guy. So I'm going to revisit this guy back with some more detail on it in the next tutorial. Okay, see you next time.